what in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, this is Jason with Denworks. Got a neat little car here. I really enjoy this car a lot. It's a uh, 1969 Dodge Dart GT convertible. You actually don't see these very often. You don't see darts actually in this generation too often, you know, 68 and 69. Um, I actually had, I've only had this one and another car that I actually sold for a gentleman. I own this car, but I was able to uh, sell a 1968 Dodge Dart uh, actually uh, Hemi Dart and uh, it had actually ended up at Bear Jackson a few years ago but it was a really cool car and uh, came out of Canada um, when it was new and very 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 cool and it was bought originally by a guy named uh, Cam Noseworthy and, and then it uh, ran under Dick Panther for a while but anyways this isn't a Hemi Dart I got sidetracked as you already know so Anyways, I just wanted to show you this car in general. Um, you know, we like to do a lot of videos so you can kind of actually see what you're buying. And if you still want to come in person, awesome. Love to see you and uh, give you a few Denmark stickers and, and uh, just show you around. But let's go ahead and uh, start here with the uh, headlights. We got marker lights, headlights, we got your bright lights. There we go. We got bright lights and we got our blinkers. We got your left and we got our, our right. I always get my left and right messed up. But I love the front end of these cars. I like how this kind of swoops down right here. Very cool. And uh, usually when you look at darts in general, you just kind of think they're, they're just kind of flat around there. They actually have a really kind of a neat look there hopefully you can see that and uh, I like how they put the ET right up front you know the bumpers are in really nice condition front and back and uh, the grill is in good shape you'll see some little minor um, you know just road road rash you know just from being driven you'll see scuffs and different things the car is not a restored car I think you know you guys already kind of know the style of cars I like. I kind of like cars that you can actually drive, you can you can enjoy, and uh, you know cars that haven't been overly restored. And you can see little chips, you know, different things, little dings. I like the turn signals. I'll show you those working here in a minute. You look down the side, you'll see little tiny waves and different things. Looking down there, we'll get closer as I go down there to show you a few things and uh, we'll uh, walk around both sides of the car. And uh, so we'll just show you off here. We'll turn it around in a minute so you can see the other side real good. But overall, in really good shape. This thing originally had uh, wheel lip moldings on it. When you see it on the lift, you'll see the little screw holes. You can see here the, the wheels are 14 inch. This has got 205, 70, 14. BFG radial TAs on the, uh, the front, and it's got 225s on the rear. You can see here the V8, it's a 318 car. You can see the trim, I love the trim on this. There's one little dent, you can see a little dent right here. You'll see some little imperfections in the paint underneath the, the window. What we're looking there, for there, um, it's not rusty. This car is actually really solid. It does have a little bit of rust, mostly on the trunk drop-offs and the behind the rear wheels, but really pretty minor. You can see the original VIN right there. What I'd probably do is have this repainted, you know, behind the, the little dash pad there. And uh, it's got a uh, remote mirror. It's got a lot of nice options, actually, because it's got disc brakes. It's got bucket seats, console got a light in the trunk you know things we take for granted today 
and uh, just a lot of a lot of neat pieces on it. You can see one little tiny bubble down here on this rocker. You can see some little chips right here, but overall looks pretty good. There's a little, there's an indention. Hopefully you can see that right here on the, uh, the quarter panel. And uh, really hard to take a photo, but you can just, I don't know if someone was leaning over it and there's just a little tiny indention indention there and uh, you can look here around the wheel lips again really pretty good one little tiny bubble a little crack right there a couple little bubbles there and uh, right here but back here is where the trunk drop-off is where it's got some issues and uh, you can see here the gas gas cap a couple little chips but overall a really nice little driver there's a little crack right there. I'll show you inside the trunk what happened there. The nice thing is that the paint is really old. And uh, so what you see is what you kind of get. I'm not really a kind of a new paint uh, type of guy. You know, this this is pretty straightforward and uh, you're not afraid to drive this car. And it's nice because I mean, it's pretty rare too. And uh, good looking. So anyways, we'll uh, show you some more stuff. You like that car, Stanley? Pretty nice looking. Okay, here we are, uh, flipped it around here so you can see it a little better, just light-wise. Go ahead and rev it up just a little bit. It sounds great, like the dual exhaust. You can see here the, the tail lights are on. Go ahead and put the brake lights on. See the brake lights, we've got blinkers. Got your left. Do the left again. A little bit slow. Take the right. Go ahead and put it in reverse. You can see the reverse lights are working. We actually even got the the lights working underneath there for the license plate. The we left the the plates on it because this car was from Washington. I have an Oregon title on it, so. I went ahead and uh, left these special interest on it. That way you can hang them up on your on your wall. But I just want to do a little walk around in general on this side. You can see down the side, fairly straight, but you know it is white and uh, it does have a little bit of wobble. You'll see, especially right here on the dart emblem, there's a little indention there. You can look down the side there. And, uh, but overall, I mean, it's a really clean little car. I love the, the blue interior. You know, it just sets it off really nice. Other things I was gonna make note of that's really hard to see in a photo. You can see a little bit of paint checking. The paint on the car is really old. I mean, I bet it's, I bet it's 25 years old. You can see a little paint checking. You can see right here, a couple little tiny bubbles. And uh, we have had this trim off. We actually put a new back window uh, in it. And uh, when I put the top up later, I'll show you the, the bottom of the uh, vinyl was bad. And uh, so this isn't really rusty underneath here. It's just got a couple little bubbles right there. Little cracking right there. And uh, go over here on the other side. You can see a little couple little tiny imperfections, a little crack right there on this side. And uh, you can see a little bit of pitting and stuff around the tail lights. This is that area here. If you look inside the trunk, it got tapped a little bit right there. So that's a filler filler crack. And uh, so just wanted to show you that. This car would be a great car, you know, just to drive and show and enjoy. You can see some little chips there, little bubbles. But it'd be great for cars and coffee and um, just taking your wife or boyfriend out. There's a lot of girls, ladies driving cars and enjoy them. Actually, our head mechanic is a lady and she, she walks circles a lot of, around a lot of guys. Um, knows a lot, knows her stuff. You can see here, the rockers look really good. I'll put it on my lift so you can see it a little better. It's kind of a cool thing on Dodges. Actually, when I first got into this a long time ago, 
I was such an idiot. I was looking for another emblem to put on the other side. And then I realized that Dodge, Chrysler and stuff, that was kind of their signature. You'll see it on DeSoto's and stuff. Not that, but they'll put a little thing on the trim right here and just some of the Mopar uh, type brand. Uh, they put it on this side. So, you know, no rust really in the bottom of the doors or anything. You can see little chips, little different things. I like the trim on this car, it looks good. Hey, go ahead and uh, turn those blinkers on real fast. You can actually see these actually even work up here. Hopefully you can see it from way over here. But that one works too. They actually light up really nice. So hopefully that gives you a good idea. So here we are on the uh, passenger side. I just wanted to show you the interior in general. We got the top down. I'll show you with the top up and, and let you see the top and everything. But overall, really, Really nice interior. I love the, the blue in it. Uh, that's one of the reasons that I was so attracted to it the first time I saw it. And uh, this looks in really good shape, I like the headrests and stuff. They started putting headrests on cars in 1968 and, uh, and marker lights. Um, you probably already knew that, but um, <clears throat> I'm just always full of wasteless trivia, so I might as well let you know. You can see here the door lock does work. You can see a little bit of pitting on the uh, door handle there. But overall, I mean, doors shut nice. <clears throat> it's got bucket seats console. I don't know if all GTs had that. You know, there's a lot of options and stuff on the Mopars. And uh, I like the console in these. Actually, it looks good. You can see here the dash. Is in pretty good shape. A couple little cracks going across the middle, and the steering wheel has a couple little cracks. I'll show you on the other side. But this is a factory air conditioning car. You can see the AC here, and uh, the heater and everything works. And when you hit AC, you can feel it coming out of the bottom. But again, the uh, the AC is not working in the car. Look in the glove box here. <clears throat> you know, overall, pretty nice for a driver. You know, the carpet's older. You know, not in bad shape, not all ripped up, but that's one thing I'd probably change in it. And, uh, but, you know, the seats are in good shape. In general, you can see a couple little spots here, like there's that little cover there which, where it's broken. Just right on the edge, a little plastic piece. And uh, overall, the seats look pretty good. We'll look at the jams here. You know, not rusty. You can see here this little filler piece is broken. You can see up here in the jam it hasn't been hit or anything. See the door panels are in fairly good condition. You know, little wrinkles. Someone actually put a speaker uh, in the door panel, which they shouldn't have done, but, you know, they did. You can see the crack. Or, uh, Little cut right there in the door panel. See the GT emblem there. The uh, radio on it doesn't work, by the way. We got pictures underneath here. And uh, it's not rusty. See the door jam. It's actually got pretty good rubber all the way around the doors. And uh, it could have used win new window felts and uh, all the way around. But, you know, use the gaskets don't look too bad. You can see here there's some cracking on this one here and uh, but you know it's just stuff you could kind of replace during the uh, the winter if you wanted and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, show you the other side go ahead and show you that this door is working as well the lock one of the nice things that uh, these have is the door locks way up here instead of back here so you don't have to reach all the way back there go ahead and show you on this side You know, everything's uh, working, and uh, flasher works, the lights work, heater's working, you see some cracks on the steering wheel. You 
see in here in the jams look very good you know again not hit you can see here it's got a it's broken right there on the little cover you can see the original sticker right there but overall looks pretty good a couple you can see here the, the door lock uh, the um, oh the latch thing here the post little tiny cracking just around the edge really common and uh, a lot of convertibles in general you can see the rubber is good this rubber here is a little better on the other than the other side you know it does stay dry inside you can see that the rubber is actually in pretty good shape so um, overall not a bad looking uh, interior again I like that blue a lot it looks uh, looks pretty nice Okay, hey, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop the hood. It's got two little latches. See a little lever. There's actually right there. There we go. Engine looks pretty good. It's a 318. It's a factory 318 car. And, uh, you know, again, not overly restored. In here we did a little detail uh, work because I like them to look nice, you know. In my own personal cars, I'm the, the same way. You know, clean it up and take care of it. We put new, uh, valve cover gaskets on it and um, just removed a lot of different stuff to make it look nice. One thing you'll notice uh, here is it's got factory air conditioning which is really a nice option. It's got power brakes as well and uh, also power steering. You know really really not a lot of nice options uh, on this. The engine I don't know about the intake and the, the heads, but the block is for sure 1977 uh, 318. So it doesn't have the original uh, engine in it. And you can see here the uh, radiator looks original. And, uh, you know, the AC, the, you can see here there's no belt, but it's actually seized. Or at least it's not moving. But you can see here it, it must have went through some service. Uh, number of years ago I don't know when but you can see it's got a 134a uh, sticker on it and uh, we'll look up underneath here you know so it must have been serviced at, at some point and was working so maybe it's just the pump you can see there's no rust up underneath here which is real common and uh, the original um, insulation there could use replacement at least it's still there I'm missing the fender tag we do have a build sheet there's where the fender tag was. Where these two screws are. And, uh, but I do have a build sheet, so if you wanted Galen Gouvier or uh, one of those guys that make uh, new uh, uh, tags for it, I'd use Galen. And uh, you could get a new tag, especially since you have the build sheet. And I don't think it costs that much. I think it's like 150 bucks. You can see here in the aprons and stuff, hasn't been hit. You can also see the original VIN right here as well on the uh, radiator support and uh, but overall I mean looks pretty tidy underneath but you know we did do a little bit of detail nothing major and uh, but I don't want to give you the impression that it's uh, you know rebuilt or or anything like that um, but it does run good it looked like too that the uh, steering box looks fairly new I'll see a little dampness on it uh, underneath but it must have been replaced at uh, some time also has a new battery so anyways let's go ahead and uh, start it up you can hear it run you know it actually starts really nice even when it's cold and uh, you know very very smooth go ahead and rev it up you know sounds good the dual exhaust sounds good and uh, we'll rev it up here again in the back go ahead and rev it up you know, has a has a great sound. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more things. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look inside the trunk. Actually, it's in pretty good good shape. You know, everything looks in uh, good shape when you put a mat over it. But we're gonna take that out. You'll see photos of it. One of the nice things in here you don't see on these cars too often is uh she actually, actually has a trunk light and uh you can see the gasket looks in good shape all the way around you 
you know, I don't see any major accidents or anything like that going around. Uh, you can see some paint flaking off here. You see a little separation uh, right there. If you look underneath the trunk lid, you know, it's not rusty. Very common for cars to rust out here. And uh, this one looks in good shape. You can see the original spare tire information there as well. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the mat out so you can see. And we'll take that spare out while we're talking about some other stuff. Here you can see the floor. Actually, for a Mopar, this thing is in really, really good shape and uh, not rusty or anything. Very nice. And uh, this is the way you want to see them. Right here, you can see it was hit right back here in the corner. And you can see where they put a little filler. And uh, not really bad, but on the other side, you can see where it did crack out uh, right here. And uh, But overall, not bad uh, behind here in general. You know, I don't think they really got into the light. I think they just got into the a little bit into the side, but it didn't really continue up just back here. It's kind of in that corner. I'll show you here the spare tire out. You know, this is just surface surface rust here, but really nice and uh, nice condition and uh, solid trunk. You can see here behind this light, it actually looks in really good condition as well and uh, not any damage. You can see the original jack is still in here. And you can see the tail light panel. Well, it's not really the, well, we'll call it the tail light panel. <coughs> the filler panel here above the bumper is in uh, pretty good condition. So hopefully that gives you a good in look at the, uh, the trunk area. I mean, structurally the car's in, in really good shape and uh, has little stuff, but we'll put it on my lift and show you some other stuff. here we are I wanted to show you how the the top works so basically you want to take the snaps off you know a lot of people know how to do this but you know sometimes people don't and uh all of them are a little different and uh so it's called a tonneau cover and it has to slide so you can actually you slide it out of that little channel oh actually hold on there we go that little piece uh tucks right behind the seat here so here's the top. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
put it up, there's a lever right on the dash there. It's a power top. It's good timing too because it's starting to rain. And then uh, right up underneath here, there's little little clicks, uh, little things here. You gotta. There you go. Then yeah. There you go. Then you click them down. But we'll take a look at the top here. Just a little little rub mark there, but actually the top is in really good uh, good condition. You know, it's wrinkled a little bit because it was sitting in there, but. You know, we did put a new piece of glass in it and a new panel uh, here. And I think when they did the top before, they had uh, put a new top, but they didn't put the glass. So this had aged. And so we had to take this all apart and uh, put a new piece in there, new zipper and stuff. But overall, the, the top looks nice. The rubber and stuff here looks pretty good. You know, around the top. And... Uh, Go walk around the other side here so you can see. One thing you always want to look on uh, convertible tops too, sometimes you'll get a little bubbling in, in the bolster right there, and uh, and that looks good. And uh, you know, slight discoloration, but nothing bad. Just keep it keep it treated, and it'll look nice. So overall, it looks good. So. You can see, actually I was going to show down there, there's a little, I don't know if you can see it. Right down there, there's a, might not be able to see it very good. Oh, here we go. You can see a little rip right there in that uh, filler panel back there with the vinyl. There's a little rip down there at the bottom. So, anyways, hopefully uh, that gives you a good look at the, the top and we'll show you some more stuff. Hey, here we are. We're going to take a look underneath the uh, the little Dodge. And you're still going to see the still photos and everything, but uh, I like to do a video underneath. It's the first thing I look at when I uh, look at a car. Uh, it's just important. You know, everything can look pretty on the outside, but you want to see the structure underneath. So um, a video is really nice to, to do because um, I can point out different things and talk about it. Unlike, you know, just looking at a photo is great, but you can't really... You know, sometimes I see a lot uh, about condition and stuff. So we'll just start uh, up here in the in the front. You know, this is a really good car, obviously a convertible, and uh, so rust-wise and stuff, it's actually really solid. There's a few little spots that'll show that's pretty common on on these, but overall, very good car. We'll just start up here in the front. Go ahead and look up here. You know, no accident damage. Looks actually really good up here in the uh, front center, or uh, inner fender aprons and stuff. You know, very clean. You can look up inside there, up there by the shock tower. You know, again, not any uh, damage or anything like that. It does have disc brakes on it. You can see here, we actually went ahead and put new hoses flush the system out and uh, put new hoses on it, get all the Zerk fittings and stuff. But, you know, the front end, um, you know, it does drive good, but it's really never been rebuilt. And, uh, but if you look at all the bushings and stuff, they actually look fairly good. Um, you can see a little bit of residue on the power steering. Um, I mean, the, the steering box here. And, uh, but nothing that really hits the floor or anything like that. We put a new brake hose over here as well on the uh, on the driver's side. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and look up here in the apron. Front apron, this is the battery box area. It looks really good. Actually, you can see the bottom of the battery box there. There's a little tiny little section. You can see that hole there, a little section that might have been cut out just a little bit, but um, overall, really nice battery box and uh front apron looks good you know the shock mount up there excellent shape and uh you know we didn't replace the uh the shocks on it they seem to be pretty good you can see here it's got dual exhaust and it looks in really good condition actually you know the engine uh you can see up here the part number 
right up there, four zero zero. It's actually hard to see. Can't get my camera up there. Four zero zero six seven five three eighteen. Up here, I believe that this engine has been replaced. At least the the block. It says one <clears throat> one seven seventy seven. So I think it's a seventy seven block. The other thing is we changed the oil and everything, and we put a new uh, housing uh, gasket around there. It was leaking a little bit. Um, the engine's just been detailed, just a minor detail to make it look nicer. But overall, it's a, it's a great motor. You can see here the little dust cover on the uh, transmission is missing and a uh, little inspection cover. The trans transmission seems to be pretty good. You know, it's an automatic and uh, it hasn't had any leaking or anything like that overall. Um, you know, it shifts nice and everything. Underneath here is really important. This is all the, you know, unibody and stuff, torque box, looks really good, excellent condition. I mean, this is the way you want to see, you know, a convertible. Um, everything looks really tidy and uh, no repairs, no rust. <clears throat> right here is where you really want to look at the inner section here of the rocker and the bottom of the rocker. You know, it doesn't have any, any rust. That right there is just a little little surface I mean nothing nothing major and uh, one thing that saved this car is that the the little drain holes aren't all clogged and stuff but these are really nice rockers for a Mopar and uh, we'll go ahead and look here at the inner inner rocker here on this side again very good you know very nice floors and all the way all the way back Go ahead and look at this rocker here. You know, the bottom of the fender. Very nice condition. There's a couple little bubbles right here. It's real minor that you can see there. But again, the this is really a nice, nice car in general. And uh, wheel lip looks good. You can see here there's some little, little tiny holes, little screw holes around here. It did have a you know, wheel lip moldings on it. Originally, that would look really nice. You can see a little crack there, a little bubbling around the back here. You can see some filler. This is probably the worst on the car back behind the uh, wheel here. You can see the trunk drop off. Looks good up there, but just right there, you can see it's a little rusty at the bottom and uh, some filler work uh, done. But Again, this is pretty, pretty easy to replace if you wanted to uh, down the road. Right here is a really good sign back behind the, the bumper. You know, very clean and uh, not rusty and uh, it hasn't been hit uh, back here. This trunk drop off is pretty good, except right up here. There's a little rust there. And, uh, but, you know, you look at the frame rails. You know where the spring mounts here very very good and uh, we did service the uh, rear end as well and uh, put new fluid in it and everything here you can see the frame rails here very nice right back in there by the spring usually you can get pretty rusty and uh, it looks good look on this other side real quick you know again very very clean you know, the frame rail looks excellent. And uh, we didn't replace the shocks back here either. They, uh, they were in good shape. So anyways, I hope that uh, gives you a good look. It's got a newer gas tank in it. And uh, you can see here the spare area. It's not rusty, but hopefully that gives you a, a good idea what it looks like in general. Um, you know, overall, it's, it's really a great car. And... Uh, Hopefully that just gives you a good view. If you got any questions or anything like that, make sure to ask us on BAT, you know, in the comments. You can email me, call me. Uh, if you want to send someone out to look at it before you bid, we'd be happy to show it to you. Thanks and have a good day.